What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity professional and college student. And on this channel, I'll talk about cybersecurity, college certifications and internships. And today's video is going to be about my third class with WGU that I recently passed. So over the last couple of weeks, um, specifically since the 1st of July, when I started my WGU degree, um, which is my bachelor's in network operations and security, I have completed uh, three classes so far. Today is the 21st of July, uh, 21 days after the start of the term. I have completed my third class, and this class is Emerging Technologies C850. And it took me about two weeks to complete this class, so it could have taken me less, but you know, due to like you know different things, um, I wasn't able to complete it in less time. My plan was to complete it in one week, being that um, all I had to do was write a proposal for the class and um, you know turn it in but let me just kind of go over the timeline for the class so right after passing my probability and statistics class um, I started with my uh, emerging technologies class and I went over the class so immediately as I started I activated the class I got an email from my course instructor with different kinds of like instructions about what this class is supposed to be so the performance assessment for this class is a proposal so you're essentially writing a proposal to uh, for a business um, and in this case the business I'm writing the proposal for is tech fight as the name of the company and um, you're essentially supposed to create a business proposal um, in order to propose an emerging technology that's gonna solve a particular problem for this class so I kind of thought it was an e it was an essay but it's a it, it's a little different from an essay because it's not really traditionally written um, you don't necessarily have to have some you know technicalities of an essay but it's more so you're writing something for a business and you have some particular requirements to fulfill so you have to like implement different kinds of like comparisons um uh, metrics and different things like that so it was really interesting um i wrote about a nine page proposal which i really enjoyed a lot so my proposal was to um, provide some form of storage technology cloud storage technology for the company you know that um uh, that is compliant with like fisma and a couple of other regulatory um, requirements and um, provide the best possible solution for their storage uh, needs. So I proposed um, AWS um, storage solutions, um, also known as AWS S3 buckets. And it was really interesting. So um, it was div divided into like nine requirements or eight requirements, I can't remember, but it was A, um, requirement A through requirement G. So you're essentially supposed to like break down the proposal into those requirements and then fill in those requirements in that proposal. Um, and so I started, I actually started, um, so I activated a class on Sunday um, of last week and then I scheduled an appointment with my pro, uh, with the course instructor for, for Tuesday. So I, I didn't do anything on, on Monday, spoke with the course instructor on Tuesday of last week and then he kind of went over everything I needed to do for the class. So the class is really, really specific. You have to really, really uh, follow the instructions as provided by the course instructor, or you're very, very likely to fail the assessment when you do it because it's really, really specific details and keywords that you have to implement in that proposal for it to be accepted. So um, I met, I did, I, I spoke with the course instructor and he gave me like different tips on how to write a proposal. And then the, 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 the plan was with every step I take, I would send them the rough draft. It would evaluate it and then let me know what to do next. So I did about four drafts in all. So my first draft, I kind of did um, re requirement A through C. I just went over like the introduction and basics of everything um, submitted to him. I uh, did some re uh, for did some revisions. Submitted a second draft, and then he, he told me to go ahead with the third with the third draft. So the third draft was writing the rest of the proposal. I did that. Um, submitted it to him, and he had some corrections to make. Um, he had some revisions. Made me uh, go over certain things and do certain specific things. So it's really really specific. Like there's some keywords that have to be there. There are some particular details that you have to implement in that proposal because I believe it's going to be actually graded as if it's actually a business uh, a leader is going to, going to be going over the proposal and seeing if it really, really falls in line with that business business's need um, at that point in time. So after my, f uh, my fourth um, draft, I was ready to submit it. So I submitted it uh, yesterday, which was like about uh, a week. So, Tuesday, so last week, Tuesday to yesterday was Tuesday. So about a week after I was done, I submitted the performance assessment and 
I came out competent in all of the uh, requirements except one requirement because I didn't do a comparison correctly. So I immediately uh, went over it, corrected it, and then uh, returned, uh, resubmitted it uh, for my second attempt. And a couple hours later, um, it was reevaluated, and I officially completed the class. I passed the class, um, being competent in all of the uh, requirements as listed for the proposal. So I think this class was a relatively easy class if you like writing. Um, I definitely enjoyed this class because I was writing about something I love. Um, I'm, I really, really like cloud. Um, so um, being uh, able to propose a cloud solution for a business's need was definitely something I found fun, um, you know, with the different um, kinds of like research I had to do in order to fulfill the business's um, requirements. So it was really, it was definitely fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I don't tend to like, Hate writing essays, but if it's something I really enjoy, I really like, then I really find it fun. I really find it fun and interesting writing about. So this was, this was kind of what made that class really easy for me. So um, and I really like the the fact that it was um, really practical in the sense that um, if I was to be in the position of an employee in a company where I had to propose a solution, this is something that's actually realistic because um, I could be in a place where um, my manager or you know my uh, chief technology officer or CISO asks me to create a proposal for a particular need that a business needs. So this is definitely realistic in terms of like what I could potentially face in the real world. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I like the class as well. But in all, um, it took me, I would say about about a week, uh, about a week or a little bit more, or a little bit over a week to complete the class. Um, if you are, you know, if you enjoy writing essays or enjoy writing about a particular tech topic, it's definitely something you you would like, but I really employ. Uh, I would really urge you or advise you to really follow the courses and structures and tr instructions. So before you start, I would recommend that you schedule a call with the course instructor and kind of go over the requirements so that you are making sure that you are meeting everything that is required. Because if you don't, you would have to like uh, you you might fail your assessment at the front. The first time um but and, and you know you really want to avoid failing over and over again so definitely reach out to the course instructor and you know get that done um and i'm, I'm pretty sure um if you if you like you know follow those instructions you can definitely pass the assessment in your for, on your first try so um that's my recommendation for the class like i said i really enjoyed the class it was really fun and uh, my next class is going to be I believe it's going to be business of IT, which is the ITIL uh, foundations version four. Um, it's kind of like, uh, I guess, like based off of like, you know, different how the intersection between business and IT. So that should definitely be fun. I'm looking at completing that by hopefully by the end of the month um, between now and, you know, next week. So I will start it uh, probably tonight, look over the material and start studying for it, create a study plan and everything. But yeah, uh, I am so excited. That is my that is supposed to be my last class for the term. Um, I mean, like, I'm definitely gonna take more classes to accelerate, but um, in all, I would have completed like four classes. Um, if I finish this class by the, by the month's end, I would have completed four classes this month. So that's really amazing. And I'm really super excited for it. Well, all that aside, um, this was definitely a fun class, and I'm really enjoying WG so far. I think it's a really, really great school. Um, I'm, I'm loving it so far. So if you're considering going to college or, you know, you want, like, a really good quality education, especially if you're trying to get into IT, I'm definitely recommending WG for you because it's been a great experience so far. Uh, but uh, And my program mentor has been super, super support supportive. I'm um, already, like, in uh, talking about plans to, you know, start, you know, deciding on what courses I want to take next being that I've completed uh, like most of all of all of the courses for uh, this term already, so uh, that's you know something that's um, ready in the works. But that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and leave leave a comment if you've taken this class and let me know what you thought about this class um, and your experience with the class. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.